can you talk about how consent culture is really a real liberty message? Well, even more than that, it's a human message. Keep in mind, I've got a PhD in psychology, and I also teach happiness at Clemson University. Along, happiness. yes, it's a great. I've taught it since two thousand nine. So I teach a happiness class every summer. It's an online class. It's an awesome, awesome. class. I even came up with little powerpoints with all the little pictures. Uh, spent hours on each little five minutes with pictures, and uh, one thing that we know about human happiness is that one of the main causes of human happiness is autonomy, being able to make your own decisions. In fact, uh, I've, my degree is actually in industrial organizational psychology. And we know that one of the biggest factors in work happiness, job satisfaction, is if you have that autonomy to make your own decisions, to decide what to do when. And so there's this basic need we have to make our decisions because that's what being human is all about. and. One of the things that the pandemic has given us is I think it has just shown the raw naked power that these politicians want just for the sake of power. I was horrified when I saw Cuomo talking about opening up the restaurants for uh, Valentine's Day. And of course, everybody's happy, like, yay, we get to go out for Valentine's Day. But the way he, I, I will never forget, he used the word reasonable. He said that he was planning on opening it up for Valentine's Day, but that the restaurants came to him and said, you know what, we've got to get our staff practiced. We've got to get supplies in. Could we please, 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 you know, people begging this one man, please, 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 can all of us open up our business a couple days before Thanksgiving? And his reply was, I said yes, because I thought it was a reasonable request. And it's like, seriously, you know, you are somebody who's never produced anything in your life. You've got all of these people with their hard earned dollars, putting their lives into their businesses. And you come along and say, oh, that's a reasonable request. And you're in charge. And, and I, I, I just hope that Americans recoiled as much as I did. And, and I think they are because it's just not human nature for somebody. You know, we even know that if you're an employee, you're much happier if your boss says, oh, sure, you can pick which job you do first. And now you've got somebody in government telling an owner who is risking everything how to run his company. It, it's just abhorrent. It, 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 it's, it's dreadful. This this is the thing that I love about you, Joe, is that you drop these liberty bombs that are just amazing. You know, the idea that pursuit of happiness is the ultimate libertarian responsibility, and it truly does make us happy, is something that I don't think that we've ever talked about in the liberty movement. 